Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be an unhaul video where I go through all of my shelves and just find books that I don't need anymore. Um, this includes my manga shelves. I don't think there's too many manga I'm going to get rid of. Usually I kind of plan ahead which manga I feel like I don't need in my collection anymore. Um, but the rest of the books, um, we're just going to go through them as they are. I haven't looked at them in a while, so we're just going to go through them and find some books I don't need anymore. Okay, first of all, we're going to go down here where I have random assortment of books, <laughs> manga. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of Natsume's Book of Friends, Volumes 1 through 10. I have not read these, but they are available on my library's digital collection of manga. Um, so I can read them there, and I don't know, I haven't really felt drawn to these too much. I think I got them used for pretty cheap. And uh, I, I think it's kind of episodic, which I usually don't do too well with, but that's okay. I think I'm going to give these to my friend. As well as back there, we've got Monthly Girls Nozaki-kun, uh, 1 through 11. So I bought those because I really like the anime, but I just don't think I'm ever going to get to the manga. Um, so I'll just give her those as well. And then I think uh, this is kind of, I'm not sure about. I have Wana and the Dragonutes 1 through 3. Oh, Wana and the Dragonutes 7 Kingdoms uh, 1 through 3. Um, so that's a complete series. I haven't really heard anyone talk about that, uh, at least not for a couple years. Um, so this one's on the fence. We'll see if I keep those. I think that's everything I'm getting rid of on this shelf uh, in terms of manga. Okay, up here it is very tall. <laughs> um, but here are lots of classics. I think I got most of these from like Barnes & Noble in their bargain section because no one buys these apparently. Um, but I don't really need all of these. So I think I'm going to go through these and figure out the ones I'm going to keep. This is from Amazon, I think. I'm going to keep this. Um, but the rest of these, I only need a couple. I mean, I don't need any, but I'm only going to keep a couple of them. So I think I'm going to get rid of Jane Eyre and Wuthering Heights. Uh, these additions are nice, but I've read both of these and I don't like them that much. <laughs> like, they're fine. I like Jane Eyre better than Wuthering Heights, but they're not my favorite classics. So I think I'm getting rid of these. They do look really nice, though. Um, I will keep this edition of the Iliad and the Odyssey because I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, but I have another one over there. I don't need this copy. So I don't need two copies of that. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Um, see, I got this for 10 bucks at Barnes & Noble. Um, I'll keep this one because I like this cover. And also the pages are orange. So that's cool. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to read this. So I don't need this. Uh, I also don't think I'm ever going to read Jurassic Park, to be honest. Um, I bought this like seven years ago now, I think. At least. At least seven years ago. It might be longer. Um, so I don't need it. Uh... I don't need this either. I don't think I'm ever going to read this either. It's Dante's Inferno and the sequels, I guess, that I didn't really know about, but there's that. Seriously, all these books up here have been sitting here for years, so that's why I'm getting rid of all of them, pretty much. Um, Grimm's Fairy Tales? I don't need to read Grimm's Fairy Tales. I've read the ones that I need, that I want to, so. This one, I already talked about. I'm getting rid of this one. Look, there's a poster behind this bookshelf that you can't even see because the bookshelf covers it, and it's been back there for years. <laughs> Uh, here's another copy of the Odyssey. I know I just said that I don't need two copies of this book, but I really like this and I really like the Odyssey. So this book is pretty enough for me to keep it. This one, um, I kind of like it just because of the cover. <laughs> and that's not really a reason to keep something, but I guess it is horror stories. So maybe I'll keep that one for a couple more years. <laughs> um, I don't need this edition of Moby Dick. I don't really like it. Uh, Edgar Allan Poe I'll keep, I suppose, and then I have some H.G. Wells stuff. Uh, I don't really need this either, so. So that's a whole bunch of books I just got rid of off the top of this shelf, like more than half of them, so that's pretty good. Okay, so over here, um, these are all my red shelves, all of these. Sorry, the shelves are messy, but, um, so... On this shelf, I think I'm going to get rid of this book. So this is like the 11th book in the Wings of Fire series. I like the first 10, but I read this one and I didn't care. So I think I'm going to get rid of this, even though the cover is absolutely gorgeous. This is a middle grade series about dragons, and I liked it, but not that one. <laughs> um, all the Libra Bray stuff I'm keeping. This one, so this is the glass sentence. Um, I will open this because it's very pretty, but... It looks cool. So this is another middle grade series that I really, really liked. I think I got this in like 2014. <laughs> I really, really liked this, um, but I've had the last book on my shelves for like five years at this point, I think, and I haven't read it. So yeah, it's not going to happen at this point. Um, 
So I'll get rid of this and the sequel. I gotta find the last one too and I'm gonna get rid of that too. Um, it lost away. I really liked this book but I don't know if I'm ever going to reread it so I think I'm going to get rid of it. I think. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, next I'm going to get rid of Punching the Air. I liked this uh, but not enough to keep it I don't think. And then The Stars and the Blackness Between Them. Again, I really like this book, but I need more room on my shelf. So these two are ones I'm getting rid of. Um, I think the rest of these, except for where things come back, can stay. Um, I think I gave this book five stars when I read it quite a few years ago, but I don't remember anything about it, and I don't think I'm going to reread it. So I'll get rid of that. Over here, I'm not getting rid of the dinner. I love that book. Um, but I will get rid of A Dog's Purpose. It was fine. It was good, but I don't need to reread it. <laughs> and then uh, Brit Marie Was Here by Frederick Bachman. I'll, I'm keeping A Man Called Ova. I don't remember how to pronounce that name. But um, I think I'm going to get rid of Bear Town as well. Um, because it was fine, but I don't need to keep it. I don't think I'm going to read it again. Then I have a couple Stephen King books over here. I think I'm going to get rid of The Shining because it was not scary. <laughs> and I just was frustrated the whole time I was reading it. And then these two are books I read in high school, like junior year of high school. Um, I liked both of them, but I don't think I'm ever going to reread them. Um, this one gives me strange memories because I wrote a whole report about it and I really liked that report I made, but, and I really liked the book too, but I don't think I'm going to reread these ever so I can get rid of them. And the rest of those can stay, I think. Here is my uh, Rick Riordan Percy Jackson shelf. Uh, nothing on here is going. This is my shrine. It stays here. <laughs> uh, actually, the shrine had to move over a little bit. But uh, yes, even my four copies of The Lightning Thief I have right there. I have another copy somewhere else. <laughs> um, those are all staying there. Uh, these are TBR books. I don't know why they're over here. They should be on my other shelf. There's more Rick Riordan books. Um, Rick Riordan Presents is this one. Um, this one I'm kind of on the fence about because I haven't read the sequels yet and I just thought the first one was okay. Um, these two, I think I'm going to get rid of these. So I really liked this first book. This is the worst cover I've ever seen, I think, <laughs> for anything. Um, this cover is atrocious. But uh, this first book I really liked and I did like the second book. But I think this author planned for a third book and the publisher didn't want to publish a third book. So it kind of feels unfinished and I don't think it's ever going to be finished at this point. So yeah, I've never reread these either, so I don't think I need to keep them, even though I did like them. Uh, those ones can stay for now. Um, on this shelf, I have Patrick Ness stuff. Patrick Ness is one of my favorite authors, so I'm keeping all of his books. Um, I like all these. I think I might get rid of Six of Crows and the sequel, Crooked Kingdom. I liked it, but uh, I don't think I'm ever going to reread it. I've kind of moved past this point in my life. <laughs> Um, so I think I'm gonna get rid of those as well. Uh, and then this shelf, um, I got my Dracula and Frankenstein books I got recently. I'm keeping those, but I'm gonna move them over here. And then we'll look at everything else on this shelf. Um, Black Wings Beating, I liked, but I don't need to keep it. Um, yeah, I have nothing else to say. <laughs> I've read all of the books. I only have the first one, but uh, I don't need to keep it. And then same with this one. I think I've read the other books in the series. I don't remember. <laughs> um, but this one was just okay. Um, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, then I have The Awakening by Kate Chopin. I hated this book when I read it in high school. I could probably read it now and understand some things better. Um, but yeah, I don't need that anymore. I have this random No Fear Shakespeare version of Hamlet, which I also read in high school. I really like Hamlet, but I don't need a No Fear Shakespeare version of it. Um, more stuff I read in high school, Importance of Being Earnest and The Pearl by John Steinbeck. There's like bite marks in the front of this book. <laughs> um, here's some crappy cover of Frankenstein. Like I said, I have a couple copies of Frankenstein now, so I don't need that one. Uh, another No Fear Shakespeare. This one is Macbeth. And another crappy cover, this one of Dracula. So, And then this one down here, I think the only thing I'm going to get rid of on the shelf is this giant hardcover version of The Way of Kings. Because, I mean, I don't need a copy this big. I have this paperback copy. And I don't mind reading um, mass market paperback copies of just, like, fantasy books. So I'll keep that and get rid of this giant one that could probably kill somebody. Okay, so here are all the books I've pulled out so far. And I have to go to my TBR shelves and pick out the ones I don't want uh, from there anymore. I also forgot I had these on the bottom of another bookshelf. Um, but I read these when I was very young. And I really liked them. Um, so I bought them again quite a few years ago um but i never reread them so i'll probably just get rid of them because they're just sitting on the bottom of a bookshelf doing nothing 
And then up here are my TBR books. Um, over here are all like my music themed ones. So those are just going to stay where they are. I haven't read any of those, but I don't think I'm going to get rid of them. Except for maybe this one. Uh, I don't think I need this one. And I probably bought this for full price at Barnes & Noble. I think it might be signed. But anyway, uh, I don't need this one. So I'm going to get rid of this one. But the other ones are going to stay there. Um, and then over here, I think I'm going to get rid of Words of Radiance. Um, I don't think I need this. Same reason for A Way of Kings. It just takes up a lot of space. And I'm perfectly fine with the paperbacks of this. Catch 22. Okay, you can see this bookmark in there. I've been halfway through this book for like seven years. <laughs> and I have not finished it. I do want to at some point, so it's still going to stay there. Um, but it's just really funny that I have not touched that in seven years and I still want to read it. Um, I don't know why, but, um, over here, I've had this book on my shelves for like five years, more than that, I think, <laughs> maybe like seven. Um, so I don't need this one either. It's very dusty up here. I'm sorry. Um, The Hobbit, I'll keep that, I guess. Um, let's see, I think these three are ones I'm going to get rid of. So I have Brief History of Seven Killings, Kings of the Wild, and The Crimson Skew. Um, all of those I bought years ago. So this is the third book uh, of that series I talked about earlier. So I think I'm going to get rid of these three as well. Over here. Um, those ones over there can stay. Let's see. Any of these need to go. Um, Us Against You is the sequel to Bear Town, which I mentioned earlier. I'm going to get rid of that one. Um, Dreams and Shadows. I don't remember why I bought this. I think I got it at like a library sale for like a buck. So I think... Um, I don't need that. See, I always buy things for like a dollar and then never read them and they just get rid of them. So I don't know why, but I do that a lot. <laughs> this one, I feel like this is another one I got in like the clearance section of Barnes and Noble. Let's see. Short novels. Hmm. I'll keep that, I suppose. Um, until like two years later where I just get rid of it without reading it. Um, these ones over here. This is another one I bought. Um... See, at Barnes & Noble for $7 in the clearance section. Um, I don't know why I buy things in the clearance section because obviously they're, for, they're there for a reason. Um, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to read this one. So the first great thriller of 2017 is here. It is 2021. <laughs> Those ones are fine. These are fine. Mm, this is like a science fiction YA book I bought for some reason. Um... Uh, I don't know. That that one could stay for now. <laughs> um, this is another one I bought in the clearance section of Barnes & Noble, I think. For some reason. Let's look at the back. Nah, maybe I'll keep that one for now. <laughs> um, I'm not really that strict with this, but this one could stay or go pretty easily. In fact, let me just get rid of it because I'm never going to read it. <laughs> um, I think that's everything on the shelf because all these ones are newer ones, so I'm going to keep all those. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this video. So that's going to do it for this video. Um, let me know what you thought of this. Um, I know unhauls are kind of popular and kind of not popular. I don't really do them too much. I used to do them more often, um, but I felt like it would have been kind of interesting for me to show you what my process is when choosing books to unhaul, which is why I made this video today. Um, let me know if you like this or you prefer just someone um, pulling up all the books and showing you what they're going to get rid of without going through the shelves. Also, I filmed the main part of this video a while ago, so I don't have the books to show you anymore. I already got rid of them. I gave all the manga to my friend um, and the, re the rest of them I just brought to Half Price Books and bought other books while I was at Half Price Books. But that's a uh, story for another day. With my collection, I'm always looking for more space, so I really needed to do this video, or at least this unhaul, because it's been a while since I did my last one. Um, so yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!